Hey everybody, Jay Graydon here on behalf of my partners George Mamalakis and Greg Schlepfer regarding the famous E electric piano. So I wanted to revisit the mid-range and what I mean by that is, let's go to the effects page. I've got this roll-off set and it's a little more drastic than I had shown in the past. It's the digital EQ, and it's the mid-band, and it's set to 654.7 cycles. So, I'm going to play four bars, actually two bars, without the mid-range roll-off, and then two bars with it in, two bars with it out, and two bars with it in. You're going to hear a major difference. Pulling out the mids really helps the overall tone. Plus, I'm using a brighter sound, a little bit more treble and high mids. Of course, the chorus is on, the logical chorus. I always have that on. And down here, I have the high mids set to 3.4K. Uh, the Q's not too small, not too wide. And um, 5K for the high end and shelf. For the bass, shelf. And also I added a little bit at 200 with a very small cue, but these cues aren't small as we know. So more on the bright part, but first let's deal with the mid-range. So here we go with the mid-range example I just noted. So experiment with that mid-range pull and tweak the amount of mid-range you want pulled to taste. I may have overdone it a little bit, but you get the idea. So now on to the next thing. Since I set the tone controls intentionally brighter, in this case, I want to show you how we can tame the click sound that comes from the keys. The fix is I used the FabFilter Pro multiband compressor and I found the frequency area to pull out or suck back the clicking sound. And you can see here on the display, it's around 2,721 cycles. And it will basically pull back the key clicks when they happen because the instrument is EQ'd bright. So what I'm going to do is I'll pull the compressor first and then I'll put the compressor in so you can hear the difference. And then I'll repeat the pattern. When the compressor's in, way less keyboard click. So here we go. Hope you enjoyed the tutorial and have fun playing around with the E. See you next time. By the way, in the near future, I'm going to have a new YouTube channel called J. Graydon Music, Recording, and More. I'll be posting useful tutorials on various music topics. I'll also be teaching guitar, and I'll give you some very important tips and tricks as to recording. In brief, I will post video on all kinds of music stuff I think you'll enjoy. So please keep an eye on my website, which is www.jgraden.com, as well as my Facebook page to get the latest updates about this YouTube channel and other interesting news. When my new YouTube channel is up, please subscribe to make sure you get notified when I post new videos. Again, thank you very much. Jay Graydon signing off, and we'll see you soon.